Welcome to Silver so Easy. My name is Laura, and today let's make a back to school pencil case. Now, this pencil case does not have a zipper, so it's going to be a great project for someone who's beginning to sew or someone who just likes to make some quick projects. And just because I'm going to be putting pencil crayons in it doesn't mean you need to. It's a fun project, and there are a lot of things we're going to be able to put in this little pencil case sort of bag. I'm starting with a piece of fabric. It's approximately 18 inches by 9 inches. But for this project, you're going to be able to start with any size you want. It's more of a technique that I will be sharing with you. We are going to need some kind of a cord to do a drawstring and one of these little clips. Now these clips you'll often find on hoodies and it's to keep the string from popping back inside the hood. But they're great for projects because they lock that string. So we're going to start with one long piece of fabric and this is going to turn into a reversible little case. Find the center of that fabric and draw a line. From that center line, draw one inch marks. Now we're going to make a little notch here and we're going to do it at half an inch. So that's how both sides are going to look. We need to just snip that first mark that we put in. We're not taking out that piece. We're just snipping so we have half an inch flap and on both sides. With this little flap, we're going to fold it once and fold it back and just do a row of stitching. I find the easiest thing is to put that seam and press it right along that line first and then that second fold over will go along that second line, but that line is inside. Stitch down, over, and back. And I promise you, this is the most complicated thing of the entire case. We now need to fold this bag in half so those little notches match. Match up the edges, back stitch, stitch all the way, and come right to this little area here and back stitch. So we have this L on the one side and the same on the other side. We have those two rows of stitching through this little opening. As long as you have a lightweight quilting cotton, you're going to be able to turn this right side out all through that little opening. Get your favorite tool and poke out those corners. Now we're going to take this bag and we're going to fold it in half. So we want to take this end and stick it inside. We are not folding like this. We are sticking that inside. We're going to take this and just push it inside that bag. Poke out that end and that little edge should meet up. From here, we need to do one row of stitching. We do have that edge matching up. So this was one side and that was the second side. And we just need to do a row of stitching all the way around. So it's going to match up. You should be able to just get that under the sewing machine foot and just slowly work your way around. So I have that little notch matched up and I'm going to start stitching right here. So just fold that over, slide it over, and whatever measurement you have here on the machine, you're going to use all the way around. So I'm going to back stitch. And continue sewing and just gradually move this around. Roll that fabric a little bit, continue stitching. We're only going to do about an inch at a time. Straighten up that fabric, line up the fabric, and sew. 
and eventually we're going to come all the way around to the other side. Now we're just going to move this piece out of the way, continue stitching, and back stitch right here. Trim off those threads, and that top is done. I do have a little piece of cord. It's about 15 inches. I do want it to fit through that top with a little bit of extra. And we need to thread that all the way through. So use your favorite tool for threading. And if you don't have a tool, a safety pin will work just fine. Put that into the end of the cord. Now I'm just going to feed it all the way around. And out the other end. This little toggle has two holes in it. So when you squeeze it together, you're going to be able to put the cording through. And this is one thing to check when you do buy the cording and you have one of these little pieces. Now you can get these in craft and hobby stores. Just make sure that whatever little rope you're going to use is going to go through that hole. I do have them both going in the same direction. Bring that up and tie these two ends together. That little knot's just going to make sure that you don't lose that little end. And this is now complete. Now I'm going to be able to put my twistable pencil crayons in there and then you just need to push that little knob down and pull the cord. And that's going to clinch it up. And we now have one complete little pencil case. And it does have a built-in carry-in strap. And if you're wondering why I made this little area so big, well, it all had to do with turning this right side out. So you can do a smaller casing if you want, but this just made it so I didn't have to do any hand sewing. So this is a very simple, quick, and easy bag. Now I've made it to fit some crayons and some markers. I like that I can carry it around and still be hands-free, but we can put a lot of different things in this. You can make it to fit your eyeglasses, makeup, make it longer if you're traveling and you can put some traveling supplies in it, crafts and hobbies, and maybe even a rotary cutter. These are fun bags to make. If you were to make one, what would you put in it? Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. I do hope you come back. Bye for now.